Okay, so I'm going to show you this new uh, workflow I've got going that I'm pretty stoked on using Photo Mechanic and Lightroom. I'm completely eliminating Photoshop from uh, my workflow in this current uh, revision. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to plug in a card reader with a card and uh, my ingest box is going to come up. There's my card. Just put it. I put it in a folder with a sequence with the date. Got my caption all filled out. So I'm going to ingest the card. I'll speed this up for you so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. So this was this assignment was just like a little car show, a little fundraiser for an elementary school. You know, it wasn't like a big uh, front page story, just like kind of thing you shoot. If you've ever worked at a newspaper, you you know exactly what I'm talking about. These are the kind of assignments where you try your best to get something out of it. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. And then you're off to the next thing. And So I shoot everything in RAW and JPEG. Uh, that way I can have the raws of my selects and really fine-tune the quality, make everything look perfect. And then I can archive the JPEGs, all of them. Uh, you know, these days you can't really archive all of your raw shots. You can easily archive all your JPEGs and keep the raws of your selects. So that's kind of my situation. I'm just going to go through quickly here and, and try and find anything that's kind of de decent or interesting. I'll just mark a couple here. So what I'll do on my edit is it I'll just go through and tag. I think there's one I liked coming up here. It's just kind of an odd shot. But let's just tag that one, kind of showing the car buff photographer there. It's kind of another one that's kind of the same thing. But I'll just mark a few so you get the idea of what I'm doing. I shot that so I'd know which kind of car it was, just like a kind of a note that I could read. You know, it's faster than writing it down. I'll select the ones I picked. Let's just go over and make sure. See, I had two they're kind of kind of oddball shots. But then here's the here's what's really cool about the workflow. So I've got everything, uh, everything's captioned. Yeah, so that is the right caption. And I would just, you know, a photographer, blah, 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 type in a cut line on those. And then what's really cool is I go into the copy uh, menu. And here I'm saying send the RAWs only. And, and I've already got it set to a folder where I send all my RAW selects. So once that's ready, I hit copy. And that throws them into that folder. Now I've got Lightroom running in the background, so I'm going to go over to Lightroom, and Lightroom is set to auto import, and so what that means is that Lightroom is and my computer's being a little slow, so we might not see them actually come in, but my my uh, Lightroom catalog is set to automatically watch the folder that I just copied those into, and import anything that shows up in there. So you can see here here's the one already; it's already here. I don't think that second one's in. Doing this video recording kind of is slowing down my machine a little bit. But if I wasn't doing this video recording, these would have just popped straight up into the into the screen, into my uh, Lightroom library. And that's what's really cool because it's faster than, you know, I'm finding it faster than just opening things in Photoshop. So where I can just go and I've automatically got my picture. And so you can see this has all my selects from the past couple days. So I've got all my recent... Uh, shots here. The really cool thing about Lightroom is when you're working with raw files is that it it keeps track of your changes but you still have the original and that's where the old the old way of opening up a JPEG in Photoshop you know you'd open the JPEG file and you'd make your tone changes and then you'd save it out and you really couldn't go back and revise those corrections unless you really went and did some like adjustment layers or whatnot. That's what I really love about Lightroom is that all the changes I make they are uh, saved and alterable, and I can always go back to the original or go back to the changes I made, and they're still flexible. They're still um, I can still work with them. So here, here's one that I've just imported in. Again, this is going a little slow because I'm doing a video recording. But so now I'll go into the develop module, and so down here I've got a preset for uh, anything I shoot with my Mark IV, basically in daylight, and that's going to make a few different settings. Um, it's going to darken my blacks. It's going to apply some lens correction. Here's a tip for Lightroom that's really cool. If you control click on uh, this thing and put it in solo mode, then instead of having to scroll down through all these tool settings, this way when you close one, you can only have one open at a time so it doesn't take up your whole screen. So I have the camera standard profile, which is what I use. I have lens correction set up. I don't know if you use those, but it's kind of cool. It just the software goes in and corrects for the lens you have. It knows what lens you have. You see kind of the change there. And so then I'll just go to the basic and, and any changes I need to make here, you know, if I want to 
wig out the photo. I can really, you know, pump up my colors or whatever I want to do. And and what's really fun now is, you know, I used to have an action in Photoshop to size it down and save it out into a certain folder and all that. But with Lightroom, you can just go export. And I have a preset right here for my uh, work for the paper. And that's just going to size it down to the exact size I need and save it into my sent folder. So that's going to save a JPEG out. So I still, my RAW is obviously untouched. Actually, I'll go back to Photo Mechanic here. And what's cool is I can st I can be working on one, exporting the others, or I can I can kind of alter them all. You can also do things like um, let me go back here. So here are my two photos that I brought in. I can I can highlight the second one as well and just hit sync and check if I if I just change the white balance or if I changed everything about it. I can sync them so that since they're shot under the same uh, conditions, they're just going to uh, now they're going to look exactly the same. And then I could hit export and it would throw them out. Um, so then if I go back to Photo Mechanic and I open my Scent folder, you'll see there it is. It's ready to go. All I would do here is basically give it a, give it, rename the file, and it's good to go. It's ready to, ready to FTP straight out to the paper. So that's kind of my new workflow, and I'm really excited about it, how using Photo Mechanic and Lightroom just simultaneously running and just shit, throwing photos into uh, my Lightroom automatically into my Lightroom library. Um, they're all ready to go. I've also been doing a lot of geotagging, which has been really cool because you can just uh, assign where you shot the photo, and you'll see this. It'll just come up on the map. It's really cool. And at the end of the year, or even really any minute, I'm going to be able to just pop up pictures from the valley and say, uh, in fact, you might even see it on here a little bit, where did I shoot? You know, Where did I go this year? Where in the valley do I have pictures? If I zoom out on the map a little, you'll see at least what I shot this week, kind of, or at least in this library. So there's my shots from the Hot Rod Car Show. It was in that parking lot. And if I back out on the map, you'll see, you can see where my shots were, you know. So I'm able to trace, you know, where was I for each of the for this week, and you know, throughout the year, I'll have this whole uh, map kind of kind of pegged out everywhere. Uh, one one thing about the export that I have set up and that um, you might want to th especially use if you're a newspaper shooter, um, on my metadata, I have it export all the metadata so my captions you'll see over here are stay the same, but I have remove location info on my export because I don't want people to necessarily know where the photos were taken. It depends what it is, like car show or swimming pool, it doesn't matter. But if I'm in somebody's home and we're doing a story that's more sensitive, I don't want to be revealing, you know, where they live in in every situation so you know that's a, that's a great feature on Lightroom where you can just not export the location so that's kind of my new workflow um, I'm really loving it it's fast it's way faster than than opening everything up in uh, Photoshop I mean one really cool thing with this is say you have uh, you know say you're shooting a basketball game you got 12 photos you want to edit you can't open those all up in Photoshop and there's no easy way to have it open one while you work on it and then save it out and open the next one automatically like go through it, a line of the photos and just and if you try to open up all 12 you're just jamming up your memory and slowing everything way down um, but with this Lightroom technique you know, you're just—they're all there. You're just working on one at a time. So you've got your—you've got you know, multiple images in. And once you get down to kind of the Lightroom uh, workflow, it's worth getting over that hurdle, figuring out how it works and how it works for you. It's been really good for me. You know, I really love when kids pop up in the middle of a press conference, and you know, here's this guy being filmed, and here's our guy, you know, getting in the shot. I love it. I love it. Okay, thanks.